Hey guys, welcome back to One Off's Pub. Today I'm going to start a series of videos I'm going to call One Off's Pockets. It's essentially an EDC update type video, um, or series of videos, uh, focusing on not only the items that I carry, the knives, the flashlights, etc., but how I carry them, what my system is, um, and what clothing I use to accomplish that system or to, or to satisfy the needs of that system. Um, today we're going to be focusing on shorts. Um, it's June. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I think it was 106 today or 110 today. I can't remember exactly how hot it got, but it's been in the 100 pluses and it's been that way for several weeks now. Basically from May to pretty much Halloween, I wear shorts all the time. You know, put on pants to go to, to church or to, or some event, but uh, otherwise I'm pretty much in shorts all the time. And May, June, July, August, September, October, that's six months out of the year. That's half of my year I spend in shorts. So I'm gonna want a pair of shorts that not only are comfortable, look nice, but also accommodate my EDC system. I carry a lot of stuff. I'm like probably like a lot of you guys, I've got stuff I like that I just like to have on me at all times. And because of that, uh, finding a pair of shorts that really uh, gives me a lot of pockets, and a lot of options, while still not looking like just a big giant pair of baggy floppy cargo shorts not that there's anything wrong with those I wear those too and they're super comfortable I have like Lee Dunkaree cargo shorts I'm wearing them right now as a matter of fact they're big and they're floppy and the pocket they've got these big spacious pockets they're great I mean I, I'm not cutting on those I do wear them but I've recently found another pair of shorts that are both stylish and super functional for EDC and uh, I want to bring them to you guys and give a review of them and, and, and encourage you to check them out they're by a company called Off The Grid. They're the Havoc Shorts, H-A-V-O-K. Um, really a killer pair of shorts. Um, so pour yourself a pint and let's, uh, let's take a look at these bad boys. This is the Off The Grid website. It's just offthegridplus.com. Uh, they sell a variety of items. Here's their Trailblazer Pro Pant on their, on their front splash here. If you go over here to the uh, to the hamburger, whatever they call it, and you click on men and you click on bottoms, you will find pants, jeans, and Havoc shorts. And that's where we're focusing today. So they sell these shorts in both 12 and 10 inch inseams. Uh, I have the 12s. I prefer the 12s that hang a little, just a little bit below my knee. I'm five foot 10, about 180, 185 pounds, depending on how many carbs I've had this week. Um, so, and I just kind of prefer that little bit of extra length. Some people might prefer a shorter style. And right now, I think a little bit shorter, shorter is more stylish, but I prefer the, uh, um, the, the little bit longer. They have a variety. So we'll go into the 12s here. They have a variety, and they are on sale right now, as, as of now. Um, they're normally $57. You can see they got them 20% off right now. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal. I got 15% off when I bought mine. So uh, 20 is pretty pretty killer deal, tempting me to buy another pair maybe. Um, they're available in black, coyote, dark olive, and pavement, which is basically gray. Uh, they do run large. So if you normally wear, like I normally wear a 33, maybe a 34, depending on the pant, but usually a 33. And, and they, they recommend down here, they tell you to, that, that, that they run big and to, and to please size down. Um, I ordered a 32 and they're great. Honestly, I could have got away with a 31. That said, I'd rather have them a little bit big and, and wear a belt, which I always do anyway to compensate and to, and to keep them comfortable as opposed to having them too snug. So I probably wouldn't have ordered a 31 even had I known, but some people may be different. And honestly, I could have got away with the 31. Uh, they are, uh, they've got a ton of pockets. I won't go over that here on their website with you, but uh, I'll go that with uh, them in person here and we'll pull out the ones that I've got. For us EDC guys, Here's a killer batch of shorts, <laughs> right? Look at that. They're amazing. Don't you love them already? Let's just do one at a time. Let's pull out the, I'll do the dark olives. I have the dark olives. I have the, let's move the, 
light out of the way. I have the dark olive. I have the, we knocked over Bert. He took a powder. Maybe we might have to move Bert out of the way. We'll just move him back here. He's not going to cut it for this. So I have the dark olive, the coyote, and the pavement. And these things are, uh, they've got like a, a stretchiness to them. You know, they've got, what's it say on here? There we go. 2% elastane. Uh, and if you've never worn clothes with this elastane in them, I highly recommend buying clothes that have a little bit of the stretch to them. When I first bought my first pair of jeans that had some of this, I was like, I was, I'm a dyed in the wool Levi's guy when it comes to jeans. I wanted, um, you know, 501s, 541s, 505. You know, I've worn a variety over the years. Um, I, a couple years ago, I saw some 502s and I was like, 502, what is that? So I looked at them and they had a little bit of this elastine in them, uh, or elastane, however you pronounce it. And, and then 541s, which is another brand that has a little bit of, or another model that has a little bit of that in the Levi's. And I was like, what? They're like, you know, you read the description and they're stretching all that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not wearing spandex shorts or, or spandex jeans. I'm not doing that. But for some reason, I just wanted to try them. So I went down to my local store and I found some at a, at a local Kohl's and I put them on and man, just that little bit of stretch revolutionized jeans for me. I'm like, holy, how did I ever live without this before? Um, so if you've never worn that, or if you think that that, that stretchy pants sound silly, they feel the, the, the jeans themselves, you know, the Levi's feel completely like normal denim, except they stretch and they give, and that's just awesome. Well, these have that same kind of gig, gig going on here. They've got uh, this, this stretch to them and they're just really cool. Uh, they're, uh, they're super comfortable. Um, they're, they're more form fitted than a, than, than say a baggy pair of, um, than say a baggy pair of cargo pants, you know, uh, but, uh, but they've just got this stretch so that they're still super comfortable. You don't feel like you're bound up. You don't feel like you're wearing something super tight and uncomfortable. They have a ton of pockets on them. And that's one of the things I just love about them. And I saw the pockets these things had and how they were, not just how many, but how they were, how they were used, how they were, how they were um, designed. Um, let's start off with your basic normal pockets, obviously right here. Got your killer little uh, extra stitched on patches here to, to accommodate your knife. Uh, whether you're a righty or a lefty. Now, I carry my, my knife in my right hand or my right pocket because I'm right-handed and my flashlight in my left pocket. Um, so you take a knife and you shove it in here. You got that nice little added little bit of uh, protection there. We've all had pants, our favorite pair of pants, or our favorite pair of jeans that have just shredded from having our knife in, in the pocket in and out all the time. Get your little flashlight. Stick that on the other same same other side. Booyah. Look at that. Perfect, right? Killer. Double reinforcement there. And you've just got yourself a couple of really nice, durable pockets there. All right, let's move down to the left thigh. Left thigh has a zipper pocket here. A cool zipper pocket. It's a nice little pouch pocket that actually pulls out. So it's not stitched in, so you can, you know, it's easier. Uh, sometimes if you just dig around there, you want to get something, you can just pull the whole guts of it out and get to whatever you need if you got a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, typically, in, in, I carry um, a pen and a uh, set of earbuds in this pocket. So I'll just stuff those in there. They lay nice and flat on the thigh. They're not all bulky. You don't have that big poochy pocket hanging off like you do on many cargo pants. Zip that up and you are good to go. Nothing happening there. Very discreet. Doesn't look like you have a pocket there necessarily. Again, not the big poochy pocket on the side. That's your left thigh pocket. Very cool. Staying on the left side. Let's roll to the back here. Of course, you have your normal back pocket like we all expect. That's normal, right? Everybody has a back pocket. That's nothing particularly amazing or inventive. But they have this, which is really a magazine pocket. That's how they kind of advertise it is like you can put like an AK or a 47 mag down there. 
it's a pretty awesome cell phone pocket. Now, I would stuff my cell phone in there, except you're looking at it right now. So I'm filming this on my phone. So my Galaxy would just go right down in there. It's perfect. It rides it up high on the hip instead of down on the on the butt cheek. It's kind of up high on the hip. So when you're sitting down, when you're either on a couch or sitting in your car, you don't feel like you're sitting on your phone. It moves it away. So it's super comfortable. You don't even hardly even notice you've got a, 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 you know anything big in your back pocket at all. And my phone is you know, a fairly big phone. It's not gigantic, but it's bigger than, frankly, it's bigger than I wish it was. Um, so there's that's your left side that's your left butt cheek as it were we're losing our flashlight here put you back in let's flip over to the right thigh and here you have a nice set of almost like carpenter pocket uh, carpenter pant pocket style uh, pockets here and here i i personally typically put this this okay Time for one of those like true confession moments. Um, I've got a problem. I've always had a problem. I've had this problem for the better part of my adult life. I love white Tic Tacs. I just, I can't get enough of them. I, the very few days in my adult life have I, if, would you, if you would have stopped and did a pocket check, would you have not found white Tic Tacs on me? Now, in the old days, had the old rattly white Tic Tac plastic box that would, you know, you put it in your pocket and clank, 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 clank. I finally got tired of that. So a number of years ago, I just I found these uh, little coin pouches, and I'm like, that's like perfect for holding your Tic Tacs. A, it holds them. They don't rattle around. It's nice and soft. Um, they can it conforms to whatever your pocket. It doesn't print in your pocket very much, even in in classic old style jean pockets. Um, so this is my little Tic Tac pouch. I typically just shove that actually this way, right down in there. Ta da. And the next pocket up, okay, here's the rule, guys. When you're my age, a.k.a. almost 53, you got to have reading glasses. I took these off my face right now. I was wearing these just a second ago. I'm looking at the screen now. I can't see nothing. It's too close. But those go right in there. Very low profile. As you can see, there's just not much to that. Both of those items sit in there ready for access for good vision or minty fresh breath. All right, I have to steal these back because I won't be able to complete the video without them. All right, moving to the back pocket, you have the back pocket, obviously. Wallet, I'm not a um, modern kind of like slam, titanium, cool, minimalist wallet guy. I'm just an old fashioned leather guy. I just, those, I, those the others just don't appeal to me. So, boom, right there for the wallet. Then we have our little mag pocket. Now, what are we going to put in this other little mag pocket? Well, this other little mag pocket is the home of this very sweet item, which will be under review soon. Between you and me, it's the Urban EDC Supply Mini EDC Organizer. That little beauty goes right there perfectly. Sits almost like an extension of the wallet. There's the wallet. There's the EDC. Both of these, as a matter of fact, both of these... They don't really hardly feel any different than than having just a wallet in your pocket. As a matter of fact, I've left the house without this in my back pocket because I felt that on my hip and I my brain checked it off. But got the wallet. So I've actually had to develop a new morning program since getting these shorts. And that is this goes in first before this goes in. Because if I put that in first, I might entirely forget that. I got to the gas station the other day. It was like rolling in on fumes like oh man i'm about out of gas i need to roll in i'll catch gas i was going somewhere had to meet my oldest son i'll get gas on the way i get to the gas station i roll in reach for my wallet <gasps> all i had on me was this and i'm like oh no luckily in this i keep a little spare cabbage right there you see it a little spare money i always keep that for emergency sake and that day i got to use it <laughs> So no worries, but anyway, I had to change my uh, my my morning routine to say this doesn't go in until this goes in. So anyway, so that boom, very low profile. I don't know if you're noticing that, but all of this stuff is extremely low profile, and these are extremely nice fitting, what I would call flat shorts. They just they're not bulky, floppy, puffy, pocketed shorts, right? All right, 
that is the pockets on these bad boys. And they are super cool, super functional, and super acclimated to my EDC system. When I saw these, I was like, man, I could put this here and I could put that there and I can da 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 da. And I was, I, I had to have them. So I went out and I ordered a, ordered a set. Uh, I ordered a couple actually. Initially, I ordered the pavement and the coyote. And then I got those and I liked them so much, I decided to go ahead and go back and get the olive as well. They also have black. Uh, I'm not a super fan of black shorts or black pants. I, for whatever reason, in my brain, in my warped brain, if you're wearing black, that's like, formal and shorts and formal this don't make sense to me so i uh i just don't dig black shorts no so I, I probably won't get the black ones but that's just a personal weirdness of my own um but the shorts themselves construction wise are very well constructed they've got that elastane and they you know, solid belt loops everything is really nicely stitched they've got a gusseted crotch that actually runs the entire length of the inside as you can see making them even though they're 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 straight shorts and they've got you know there's no pleats in them there's no they're not floppy they they, they fit more, more tightly to the body um they've, they've got more of a um just a a a, a, a sleeker look in terms of of, of how they wear uh, but they don't feel confining at all. They've, they between the elastane and this gusset, you're, you have complete freedom of movement. They're very, very comfortable shorts to wear. They are. They've got nice, uh, like the belt loops all the way in the back with a nice big, really thick one in the back. A very cool American flag style uh, black patch that's on the on the back in leather. I mean, they just they're really. They're really well made. They're really high quality. They don't feel like cheap shorts at all because they're not. They're really decently excellent made um, uh, pair of shorts. That said, in full disclosure, on the Coyotes that I have here, which are, honestly is probably my favorite color of the bunch, um, just in, in general, um, and the first color that I that I put in my that I ordered, first color that I put in my uh, in, in cart when I went to to the to their website. These things are extremely well made, but that said, nobody's perfect. And I did have within a few weeks of owning these, did have a little bit of a problem right here. The seam on this zip up pocket on the left thigh split on me one day and just started unraveling. So I had it stitched up and repaired it. And it's back to good. You know, you can see it, the thread that was available. Okay, full confession. I'm 53 years old, almost. I had my mom do it. I couldn't stitch to save my life. My 76-year-old mom stitched up my shorts. That's the way it goes. But um, and she that was the closest she had in terms of uh, um, thread color. But it's close enough. But, you know, so, so you know, any, anything can happen. Um they were repairable and it was no big deal. I didn't bring it to their attention or anything like that. I, as a matter of fact, this happened before I went back and ordered the, the olives. Um, so, you know, it, to me, it's not a big deal. Um, stuff happens. Life is imperfect. So fix it, move on. Um, really, you can do the rest of the shorts. There's no doubt. I mean, they're, they're thick, they're rugged, they're they're comfortable, they're stretchy, they're everything that you really, that I really want a pair of shorts to be. And they got a pretty cool logo. So that's the Off The Grid Havoc shorts in the 12 inch. Again, if you're a 10 inch guy, if you'd like a little bit, show off your sexy kneecaps, by all means, you can go for it. Me personally, it's just not how I roll, but each to his own. And that's one else two cents. Keep the change. Slancha.